as they take on the number five ranked team in the country, the Texas Longhorns. And here we go. Shaylee Gonzalez bringing it up. Shay Holly splashes down a three-pointer. She's been in double figures each of the two games here in Kansas City. Gets them on the board, calms things down a little bit. And there's another freshman. This is a tremendous freshman, Addie Brown. Well, to me, what's going to be important is you talk about freshmen, Audie Crooks, Addie Brown. Emily Ryan, as a leader for this team, is going to be crucial. Muhammad defending the freshman. Big screen. Ooh, big screen by Crooks, but a bigger block. Making it difficult for them to see inside. You're going to help your post player in defending that big. Emily Ryan taking things into her own hands. One of the toughest things to do in a zone defense is to rebound the basketball. Booker again. Booker is red hot to start things off. Then the Iowa State team because she is just... Follows that up with a three-pointer. And that one gets away from Nadabu. Booker feeling it right now. She got another nine points for the freshman. She is going to hurt you every time. A seven to nothing run for Texas. Bellinger steps into a three. Got it. Boy, better, what a big shot. Shay Holly is all up in Emily Ryan's grill right now. Bellinger, two three-pointers in a row. And the, the men's tournament is going to be exciting just like this one. And great hands by Taylor Jones. But Emily Ryan now all-time leader in a career assist and also career assist at the Big 12 tournament. Madison Booker is in double figures already as we get into the game. This defense that Texas came out to play with today has been stifling. <laughs> what a shot. Can't score over Gonzalez. Of course, Vic Schaefer's teams have always been known for their defense. Their offense has been really good this year, too, and it's, it's good so far today. And Bill Finley calls a timeout. Gonzalez wrapping her arm around, but the foul is called on Jackson, the freshman for Iowa State. Gonzalez rings up a three-pointer. And Addie Brown back into the game with two fouls, but she's stripped by Madison Booker. She's got two fouls, so Booker makes it all the way to the rim. That's only two team fouls for Texas. As Crooks leans in and finally gets her first basket of the game. She is replaced by Jacqueline Mwenentanda. The steal from back Gaston. That's what's been happening, but look at the steal from Gaston. Deanna Gaston just getting out in passing lane, taking it the length of the floor for easy two. Not, not only are the Texas guards allowing more to flash to the high post for a wide open jumper. Emily Ryan inside the Crooks, who had great position. The pressure that we've seen. Yeah, so the guards especially can't get out in pressure like that. But Gonzalez and Texas keep shooting lights out. That's five of six from beyond the arc for Iowa State. Kelsey Jones hits a big three before the halftime buzzer. Will that give Iowa State a little lift? And today, so far, just eight points, but she started off 0 for her first six. Since then, she started putting it together. Booker out top to Gonzalez. Boy, the three-pointers are going down for Texas. And how they're, they're playing hard and they're causing turnovers everywhere. But you love to see this from your team getting ready to head into postseason play. To play Madison Booker with the smooth reverse layup. I saw the graphic pop up there. 17 points off turnovers for Texas. None for Iowa State as Emily Ryan finally slipped to the basket around the tough defense of Shea Holly. Only five turnovers for Texas in this game. Crooks is calling for it. She wants the ball. Goes to the opposite side. She's in. Ryan 
picks up her dribble. <laughs> Boy, Shea Holly had her arm wrapped around Emily Ryan. She steps back to three and nails it. Shot clock down to 12. Kelsey Jones is in. Nice bounce pass to Crooks. Great patience. And there's the react. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Adi. I just love how she plays with so much fun. Big girl, I see you going to work. Iowa State has an opportunity here. Boy, that ball was just behind <laughs> Bellinger. She would have had an open three. Yeah. And the way she shot the ball in the first half. Almost every possession. And then the defense they were playing. So Iowa State, they have to find a way to get a bucket. There they go. Let's go. Texas running a low one, one four flat. Let Booker go to work. And she does. And she scores. So good. One four flat action. That's nine night. Madison Booker is nice in person. I don't I don't know if that makes sense, but she's way better in person than she is on TV. They go inside to Jones, who's able to go up over the front of the rim. So it's an 18-point lead for Texas. Crooks finally gets the first basket of the quarter for the Cyclone. Bellinger from the corner, got it. She had those two three-pointers early that kind of kept Iowa State in the game early, but she hasn't had any open looks since then. The conversions with 23 points off turnovers for Texas. Crooks finally able to get the ball inside. And like, nice little fadeaway jumper. <laughs> Scoring through contact, but a nice fadeaway. Shay Holly, and there's that endurance coming into play. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillip 66. Proud sponsor, fifth-year players. There's a lot of experienced players in this country, and this Iowa State team is in the Big 12 final with five freshmen on their roster. And there's one of them right there. Crooks on the all-Big 12 freshman team to propel themselves to a Big 12 championship. More finishing things up for the Longhorns. It was too much. The defense was just too much to it. Texas wins the last Big 12 championship that they will ever be a part of as they come out and dominate from start to finish get the 70 to 53 victory over Iowa State. You know, a perfect way to end, to your point, the, the last time they will play in the Big 12 tournament and they absolutely left their mark on this conference, in this tournament, and Texas was just too good tonight. Vic Schaefer shaking the hand of Emily Ryan. What a tough day for Emily Ryan as Shea Holly was all over her. Emily Ryan will come back for her fifth year because she says she loves this team. She loves the players she plays with, and they still have some NCAA tournament ahead of them. But it's the Texas Longhorns that get to celebrate tonight. They won the championship in 2022. They were runner-up to Iowa State last year, and they grabbed the crown back tonight.